It's time. We'll yeah. explain in a second. You ready? You ready, Caleb? Ready. Right. <laughs> Come on out. Carefully. Carefully in you go. Down in there. Ooh, close it up. Yeah. Watch it. Uh, we don't have far to go. Nope. Just around the corner. <laughs> They're jumping. Here, I'll close this up. I like those gooses, but they gotta go. They are um, taking chunks out of our chickens. And we don't want chicken chunks unless it's time to eat chicken chunks. Yeah, they're abusing the animals and <coughs> we've done, <coughs> excuse me, everything we can. We've separated them, separated the chickens, separated the geese sequestered done everything we can think of to do and um they've even bullied the rooster <laughs> they're they're going after the rooster and the chickens aren't laying eggs uh nearly as much as they should and because right, they're stressed they're stressed out yeah and they're just it's a bummer because these geese have been awesome is uh driveway alarms mm -hmm. they've been awesome in terms of just fun yeah. And and there's a subset of chickens that they actually protect. Mm -hmm. If you raise the geese and the chickens together from chick and gosling, then they're great. But yeah. when you introduce when we introduce them to the other chickens, they just kept picking on them. Well, there's more to say, but yeah. It's cool. We got to get going and we'll explain in a second. <laughs> so, uh, a little word of explanation and maybe help for people that might be struggling right now or maybe even people who are wondering what in the world are you doing or maybe even um, you're thinking about getting into this life and you're wondering how could I do that <laughs> okay so here's 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 the basic scoop um, those geese like we mentioned were attacking and hurting and actually taking chunks out of our chickens mm -hmm. We did try to separate them, and like I said, we did all the stuff. So then our options are very small. Our options are find somebody who wants to adopt them. We tried that. Yep. Negative on Nobody. all fronts. Mm -hmm. Everybody we knew got a call who has animals, and nobody, nobody wanted, wanted geese. Nope. <laughs> uh, then we also tried to... Well, we called our butcher... Yeah. And it was going to be a few weeks before he could get them in. Which is too long for them yeah. picking on the chickens. Right. Then we thought, well, maybe we should just process them. But it's it's negative five degrees outside. Mm -hmm. And for you to have, you need warm running water to do a good job. I know there's, right. I know there's like uh, old timers that just zip, zip, zip and, and take care of it. We're not that fast. Mm -mm. And we don't want to do that and then waste the meat. Right. Right. So what we did do was we did find a family that this is this was the best of all options, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, we, found, we had a, a friend, family friends, mm -hmm. who um, they said they would take them for meat, mm -hmm. fill their freezer. Yep. Chicken or a chicken. <laughs> goose. <laughs> Christmas goose. Right. And... It worked out very well because they were extremely grateful. Yep. Um, the animals went quickly. I was there, mm -hmm. and it was it was it was they, the best outcome I think could happen. Well, and they have a setup where they could butcher them easier than we do. We just don't have a place set up to do that yet, just yet. So while we do have running water in the barn, it's not warm running. Water. It's not warm running water. Um, we don't have a, a propane or a, a heater in there yet. That will be next Soon. year. That'll be next year. Um, We've got the propane heater. It's right. just not hooked up. Right. And you have to hook it up with a heated hose. Otherwise, that that hose will freeze. And then your heater is so, useless. And then it's useless. So we want to do it right. We don't want to do it 
you know, quick and easy. We have to, we want to do it right. So. Yeah. So here's the thing. A lot of people who don't understand farm life mm -hmm. and would go, oh my gosh. And there's probably all your people that are typing comments and yeah. that are nasty. We have no doubt. It's just that they don't understand this life. Right. And they also don't understand that we're taking care of these animals the best we absolutely can. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes life just happens and you got to make decisions. Right. But for those people who are making nasty comments or already have. Or thought nasty thoughts. <laughs> well, here's the scoop. Yes. Okay. Where do you think that meat on that cellophane thing with the wrapper and the, the styrofoam, the styrofoam plate. plate where do you think that came from mm -hmm. it was an animal that was walking around mm -hmm. it was squawking and chirping or right. barking not well not barking that's that's other countries <laughs> that's other countries <laughs> not around here no no but where do you think that came from for those of you who are getting nasty right now who do eat meat mm -hmm. well even those of you who don't eat meat where do you think the meat comes from? I mean, how do you think it got there? It didn't, wasn't the meat fairy saying, poof, here you go. No, that animal was being raised in usually a not so very kind way. Well, tell them about, tell them about why we started. Right, we watched this movie, Food Inc. There's several of them out there. Um, that's just one I can think of. There's the another one, documentary. Yeah. There's another one called King Corn. Um, there's, there's lots of them out there that really show you how your food is raised and what goes into that process. And we decided from, oh, probably six, seven years ago, or was it longer? I don't know, probably longer than that, that we wanted to raise our own meat. Um, because yes, we do eat meat as a family and we will continue to do so as long as we can raise it. Um, but we raise it humanely. We care for these animals as best as we possibly can. Um, and they have one not so great moment. And a lot, of, lot, a lot, a lot of good times. We take times. care of them. Medicines if they need it. Vets if they need it. All right. of that stuff. Care. We we love on yeah, them. We yeah. scratch them, and you know, take care of them. We take care of them. We love them like well, they are they're our ours. they're our animals, you know. So of course we're going to show them kindness and love, and I guess you could call them farm pets. They are farm pets, right? And these farm pets serve a purpose, and when they are when it's time, when it's time, then they go to freezer camp. If they are proving to be a difficult animal and behaving badly to another animal that is providing food for our family. Well, then that animal needs to go to freezer camp. Well, either that or else we find a different way to take care of it. Right. Like sometimes if if we had options, those geese would have become pets for somebody. Right. Nobody wanted them. Nobody wanted them. Um, or sometimes you can, there's all kinds of different things mm -hmm. you can do where freezer camp's not always the, the end right. spot. Right. You can sell the animal, you can rehome the animal, whatever. Um, but we knew of a family that Needed really could use the meat. And so we decided that was the best option for those animals. Food Inc. Mm -hmm. If you've never seen it and you, and you like eating meat, mm -hmm. you may want to reconsider or get ready to get your own homestead. Yeah. Or get ready to start raising your own chickens mm -hmm. because what we saw was Disturbing. the industrial process mm -hmm. of where almost all of those things not i'm not saying all but almost all of those meat products that are in your grocery store mm -hmm. come from yep how the animals are treated mm -hmm. and for us it was disheartening it was mm -hmm. sad and uh we just decided that's not how we're gonna deal with it right and so we started raising our own yep that was a hard thing to do that first time when we first culled mm -hmm. some chickens. Yeah, it was. It was challenging. Um, but we got the hang of it. You know, it's still, we still pray before. We, we thank, thank God, God for the animals that he's provided for our family to, for, for sustenance. And we also um, pray that they'll go quickly mm -hmm. without pain or at right. least the, the least amount of pain. Right. So um, it's... 
it's not easy, no. but the alternative in my mind is not acceptable. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. That's how I, we've mm -hmm. thought about it for what now? Eight years now? Well, we've been. Ten? We've been doing, we've been doing farming for really? seven and that would be even as far that, back as in 10 years Indiana. Ago. 10 years ago. Yeah. So maybe longer than that. I think I was thinking of when we got cows. But yeah, um, we have had animals for probably nine years. Chickens now. and goats. Yeah, chickens and goats and pigs. And... Mm -hmm. Wow. It's been a long time. We're learning a lot. We have learned so much. And we still have a lot to learn. We have not arrived. You know, we do not know That's everything so yet. I know. There's a lot of YouTube channels yeah, who want well, you to believe they have, have arrived. arrived. And they know, they know it everything. all. And if you don't do it their way, then, then you're, you're wrong. wrong. You know what? Every it's... farmer, you ask you ask 100 farmers how, how to, to do, do a, a thing, thing, they'll give you 100 different answers. You have to find out what works for your family. Yes, listen to them. Listen to them. But then there's going to be a way to do it that's mm -hmm. going to be best that's, for you. Right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, anyway, hard day. Yeah. No fun. No. But it's good done. Day. And, and it is a good day because now that family probably has a good... 40 pounds of meat. I don't know if they would have They been were 20. heavy. They were heavy. They were heavy birds. Even if it's 30 pounds mm -hmm. of meat, that's a lot. Yeah. So, praise yeah. God for that. Mm -hmm. But anyway... Um, it's a hard reality. Yeah. Something to really think about. Yep. Okay. So that's it. Yep. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.